easy if you happen to be the one and only Joe Davis. Hello, Joe. May we break in on your session for a minute? Hello, Raymond. Certainly. You know, that was a wonderful twice-round-the-table six-cushion cannon, but we'd rather like to see some of your shots using side and screw. Oh, what about this five shot? Five. Which means a cannon hitting the red first and in off, screwing back three-quarters the length of the table. Very neat. And now something even more profitable, the eight shot. Pot red, three, cannon two, that's five, and in off, and as the red struck first, three more making eight in all. Terrific, Joe. Now, what do you consider the first essential of success? Well, Raymond, an awful lot of practice, but you must start with a well-balanced stance. Have a good look at Joe's stance. Weight well forward on the left foot, right leg rigid and acting as a prop. Body steady, left hand taking the rest of the weight and forming a firm bridge. Finally, the cue action, smooth as a piston. And now for a neat one which Joe calls a disappearing shot, spotting all three balls at once. Well, that's made the billiard balls disappear all right, so now for some snooker. That's the ball he's going to pot, even though he's completely snookered by the ring of colours around the white, and this is how it's done. Very cleverly, up and over. And next, another way of potting a ball when you're snookered. This time, Joe uses the Massey shot to swerve the ball round in the semicircle before potting his colour. Let's have a look at that one in slow motion, may we, Joe? Joe calls his next shot impossible. He's going to pot the red on the cushion, although he hits the nearer red first. Watch how the black guarding the pocket clears out the way, too. And now, finally, to purely a trick shot, the machine gun shot. Although struck first, white goes down last. All done by magic, eh? And after that, you'll be ready for a smoke. Ah, players. Yes, they, like you, depend upon quality for their success.